But offense, you guys feel like you're getting a flow? Uh, yeah, I think it's getting better. Um, that was, that was, I think, the most complete game that we had with the most complete roster. Um, Jesse was out, but but we haven't had all the guys. So, um, yeah, rebounding is a big emphasis. Emphasis. <laughs> that's the word. Sorry. You got it. Emphasis. Um, but yeah, offense looked pretty good today. I think most of the parts, some parts, we you know got got a little too too ISO, but. But that happens if you have talented players, and uh, you can't always just stop them. You gotta, you know, let them play because they're hoopers. So yeah. So Cook, same for you. Feel like the offense is starting to come into gear a little bit. Yeah, I feel like our offense is getting better by the day. Um, whether in practice, um, I feel like it's translating into the games. Um, you know, just the more time we spend with each other on the court as a complete team, uh, I feel like our offense will come together. Um, we just got to put two and two together. I feel like uh, our offense will get better over time, but our defense got to improve, our rebounding. You know, just, just waiting on guys to come back. That's, that's all it is. How frustrating a cook has it been for you to deal with, you know, coming back from the event and you know, not being able to play, obviously, in as long as stretches as you want. It looked like that, you know, affected you a little bit Wednesday, but tonight maybe a little bit longer stretches. Yeah, uh, when something like what happened to me kind of happens, um, you know, the necessary precautions that are being taken, uh, you just got to follow it. Um, but my teammates, they, they had me the whole time, uh, just uplifting me every day to practice. Um, <coughs> And I know the process of coming back. Um, you can't just come back 30 minutes a game. You know what I mean? They, they'll build you up. So, you know, just just trusting the coaching staff, the medical team, and uh, my, my players, my teammates, uh, just get me back to what I was. Kurt, do you have your win, <clears throat> win completely? Is your conditioning good, or do you still have to sort of get into game condition? No, I think my conditioning is good, and I gotta give a big shout out to Sean Brown, our uh, you know lifting coach. Like he, you know, he 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 was on my ass every day. You know, I I was running out on turf when when others were getting getting ready to practice and stuff. So it was more just you know before I started playing, my last game was last March against Princeton. You know, so it was more just trying to get the rhythm back of game flow and stuff like that. But. Uh, I'm, I feel pretty good where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. Cook, when um, when Jesse went down a couple games a couple games ago, uh, did you feel that your role was going to, at that moment, you know, change a lot? Because obviously it seems like you know you're playing the five now, where you probably weren't really thinking about playing the five at the beginning of the year. Uh, uh, how much has it changed for you, you know, since his injury? Uh, when he went down, I didn't know immediately that he would be out uh, that time frame and that injury so um i mean once i knew what was going on uh, i knew i had to step up um you know when i first came here one of the first things coach said was um you got to guard multiple positions and um play four and five um, when jesse comes out of the game just slide me in at the five you know so he can get his rest so you know i think i'm just living it living up to uh the expectation in the game today, you had a number of uh, interesting plays, shall we say. A couple of uh, you know, dunk, uh, nifty pass, uh, 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 moves. If you had to pull one of those out for a highlight reel, which which one would be, would be it? Uh, probably my, my most favorite play tonight, um, <laughs> just getting that offensive rebound and then passing it to Ofri for the dunk. Uh, I feel like the crowd, they, they just really they fed off that. And, um, you know, I'm just the ultimate team player at the end of the day, just seeing my guys uh, succeed. You talked about the crowd feeding off that. Usually people talk about you guys feeding off the crowd. I mean, they, they do it after the game. You're over there signing autographs or whatever, <laughs> posing pictures, and, I mean, and for, for little kids. I mean, talk a little bit about your personality and why that's important. Now that's just who I am. Uh, you just can't take none of this for granted. You know, we play this great game, and uh, I feel like uh, sometimes um, 
through my college career, I took things for granted. And um, when I went down with these in injuries, and um, you know, just it comes full circle. Uh, you just gotta just gotta appreciate everything that's that's given to you, and um, you know, that, that's just the type of person I am. It, it, it strikes me that two real little kids, little kids anyway, a uh, guy of your size, and, you know, I mean, with a, with a smile like you've got in that, prob <laughs> prob you probably do a lot for them. Yeah. I mean, does it feel like that? Yeah. I mean, I love putting smiles on on uh, the fans' faces, you know what I mean? They're, they're the ones that come out and uh, watch us play, uh, support us, uh, give us our energy, so... Um, uh, I just I love coming in every day and uh, giving them my all. I, I don't know how much you can talk about the medical condition, but uh, obviously there, there there's changes in your life in order to get you back on the court. Can you uh, is it um, like extra medication? Uh, just to, how much has your life changed since you know since that that moment? Um. It's just a, lot, a health uh, health situation that I was just dealing with uh, was new, so you know, can't really go into detail with that. Sure. You know, but um, you know, I'm getting better. Um, that's all I can say, really. Kurt, in the second half, there was a stretch when Toledo had got it down to two. I think you, Raekwon, and Noah were all on the bench at that point. You talk about the, the minutes that you know Kobe, Ofri, and some of those guys gave you, and did that allow you guys to kind of refocus and, and maybe you know take a little bit of a mental reprieve there? Oh, they gave us big minutes. I mean, you look at you know JoJo's minutes. That's why basketball is such a great game because it doesn't really, you know, everybody brings something that somebody else doesn't have to the floor, and uh, and JoJo played 15 minutes, but I mean, big part we won was because of JoJo. I mean, he had big offensive putbacks. He had great, you know, layups in the end when it mattered the most. And, uh, and you know, this, if, I'm not a big, big guy on, you know, if, if you're a bench player, you're a bench player. Like, everybody has a role. Uh, everybody is doing their part. And uh, that's what makes basketball fun. And, uh, of course, answer to your question, you know, it, it gives, you know, guys who play a little bit more minutes rest. But, but I mean, it got back to tie game, and then we went back on a lead when they were on the floor. So, you know, it's, it's for a reason. They're good basketball players. Sure. How difficult were those nine games where you had to sit out? And was it, I mean, mentally, was it difficult on you to sit and watch and not be part of it? Uh, I think it was, um, yeah, but uh, on the other hand, I, I look at it as a you know, challenge. I got to see things from the side that maybe during the game I wouldn't see. Uh, so. It was, I, I definitely embraced it. I didn't look at it as negative. Uh, come in every day, work like I would play tomorrow, uh, get my teammates ready to play. Uh, um, no. Kirk, let me, let me ask you the, the same thing I asked today. Hey, Cook, uh, you play with fans too. I mean, quite a bit, it seems like. Uh, uh, talk about the relationship, player, fan, and, you know, in situation, and how does this, like, so far compared to what you've seen out in Arizona and the likes? Yeah, I mean, fans are a big part of our game. Uh, you know, it, it would be, first of all, it would be boring. Second of all, <laughs> I mean, you know, you don't want to play against, in an empty gym. Uh, fans come in, they, they buy their tickets, they, they spend their family money on it to come see us play, us college students. So it means a lot, for sure. Um, Hope to you know. Hope to even see more people when the conference starts. Uh, I think we're gonna. I hope so that we we really get our mojo going on, uh, going on, and uh, our our results definitely doesn't say how good of a team we are. We can we can play anybody at, at any time. We got like I said, we got hoopers. Everybody's played this game for a long time, and everybody's studs. So we just gotta put it together. Kind of along those lines, you guys have obviously seen Raekwon in practice over the summer. Knew what he could do. Oh yeah, Raekwon. We yeah. played. We played uh, in Arizona. We played Montana State. Oh, he had okay. twenty on us. Yeah. So, and you know, we had one of our best guards guarding him, Pella. Shout out to Pella Larson. And uh, Raekwon had like eighteen on us. Yeah. So, if somebody has eighteen on Pella, like 
that's like that's solid yeah. points. That you know, so Raekwon's been doing it since he's a kid. So the fact that he comes back, uh, you know, he hadn't played all year. First two games back, twenty nine points in each game. Doesn't sound like that's a surprise. Uh, uh, definitely no. I mean, I think he had like twenty two at half or yeah, something. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even like realize that. It's just like he's a silent killer, yeah. and uh, and I mean, he shot. You know, he took only fifteen shots. To shoot to score 30, that's, right. that's, that's pretty impressive. I think we've talked about the different offenses this team has had to go through through the year with, or with the changing personnel. Obviously that affects the guard some, but it seems like it affects the post too. Some, you know, Jesse's obviously a, a blocks back to the basket player. You're coming out more, uh, you know, you can range out to the three. How much of those changes affected you in your game? Um. When Jesse went out, I got a. I was told to play the five, so um, I wouldn't say it affected me a lot. Um, I can't play outside as much. I just got to screen, roll, you know, get guys open on the uh, on the wing. Um, creates a lot of space on the floor when you got a, a guy like Kirk Creaser coming off the screen. Uh, they just have to help so much. So uh, the floor opens up. Um, you know, just got to play your part then. Could this make this team a little bit more versatile when Jesse comes back that you can play different sets, different looks? Uh, yeah, uh, I think we've seen that a couple times uh, when Jesse was on the floor, uh, I believe, for the Drexel game. Um, uh, we just can't wait for just everybody to be back. Uh, Kirk Creaser, um, Jesse Edwards playing on a consistent basis. And, uh, 